Shalom, shalom, shalom. This is your brother Yael Ezra Ben Levy coming at you again with a, another video. Um, as always, my desire is not to be before you long, but I want to make this other video addressing more so called messianic prophecies that are supposed to be um, talking about Jesus, talking about Yahushua, Yahabashai, whatever you feel comfortable calling him. I have this. Bible here called the Complete Jewish Bible, and within it, it have uh, within its introduction, it has a whole list of prophecies speaking of what the Messiah must do, uh, what the Messiah Yeshua did, Jesus. Then it gives the source for where it's prophesied in the Tanakh, and then it gives the fulfillment in the Brit Hadasha, which is the uh, um, the New Testament, um, the, the Gospels. And I just wanted to show you just how deceptive, how underhanded they are and so desperate to show someone within the Scriptures when the Scriptures in context is not even speaking of the person or event that they say it is speaking of. Now, this one right here is the prophecy about the Messiah must be executed without having his bones broken. Not one of his bones will be broken. Now, the source from the Tanakh or the Old Testament is Exodus 12. In verse 46, in Psalms um, 34, 21 or 20, uh, depending on if you have an English Bible or um, a Hebrew Bible. So let's see. And then it gives the fulfillment. The fulfillment of it is John chapter 19, um, 33 through 36. But first, let's, matter of fact, Let's start with the so-called prophecy. Then we're going to go to the, fil the fulfillment. And then we're going to go back to its source text to see is it really talking about Jesus of Nazareth. Okay, this is Exodus chapter 12 and verse 46. In one house it shall be eaten. You shall not carry any of the flesh outside the house, nor shall you break one of its bones. Now, notice this said one of its bones, not his bones. Um, now, let us move on to Psalms 34. Psalms 34, verse 20. And if you're following along in a Hebrew text, it will be um, 21. But this is what it says in um, Psalms 34, verse 20. He guards all his bones. Not one of them is broken. Now let us go to the Gospel of John. Chapter 19. John chapter 19. Oh. John chapter 19, verse 30, 33 through 36. Now, this is supposed to be the fulfillment of them two verses that I just read to you from out of the um, Old Testament, out of the Tanakh. Okay, John chapter 19, verse 33. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. But one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear and immediately blood and water came out. He read it on 535. And he who has seen has testified and his testimony is true. And he knows that he is telling the truth so that you may believe. Verse 36. For these things were done that the scripture should be fulfilled. 
Not one of his bones shall be broken. Okay. Now, let's go back to the first one that I shared with you that posted to be a messianic prophecy from the Torah, the book of Exodus. 12 and 46. It says, in, in one house it shall be eaten. You shall not pass any of the flesh outside the house, nor shall you break one of its bones. Now, if this is talking about the Messiah, this is talking about Jesus. Can you please tell me when did they take Jesus into one house and people ate of his flesh? Because you could plainly see, if you would just be honest, you could plainly see this is not a prophecy talking about the Messiah, talking about the Mashiach. Because this is talking about the Passover lamb. This is not talking about um, a righteous holy man, the Messiah, the Son of God. Let us find this out. Let us go to verse. Yes, let us start at verse 42. It is a night of solemn observance to Yehoah who bringeth them out of the land of Egypt. This is that night of Yehoah, a solemn observance. Observance for all the children of Israel throughout their generation. And Jehovah said to Moses and Aaron, this is the ordinance of the Passover. No foreigner shall eat it. But every manservant who is brought for money, when you have circumcised, circumcised him, then he may eat it. A sojourner and a hired servant shall not eat it. What is this it? Is this it the Messiah? Is this it Jesus? Or is this it the Passover lamb? I asked that question. I'll be honest. What did they eat on the night of Passover? Did they eat a man? Or did they eat a four-legged animal? Which none of that four-legged animal's bones were to be broken. So you plainly look, if you will look at verse 46, it lets you know you shall, uh, nor shall you break one of its bones, which is referring to um, a goat or a sheep. It's not talking about no Righteous, holy, divine man. It ain't talking about the son of God. It is talking about a four-legged animal. Now let us move back to Psalms 34. It said, now you just go look at verse 19. It said, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but Jehovah deliver him out of them all. He guard all his bones. Not one of them is broken. 21. Evil shall slay the wicked, and those who hate the righteous shall be condemned. Jehovah redeems the soul of his servants, and none of those who trust in him shall be condemned. Now, nowhere in Exodus, nowhere in Psalms 34, do you see a word that should be mentioned to let you know if it's talking about about the Messiah. And that's the word Messiah. It's the word Christ. You don't see them titles. And you don't see no name of Yeshua. Yahabashah. Yahushua. It's not there. So why. Do these people list these things. As prophecies. That was spoken about. Jesus. Or the Messiah. When you can see one. The first one I gave you in Exodus chapter 12, verse 46, is talking about an animal. 
Yet still they say it's a prophecy talking about Jesus. And then as you can see, you can see in Psalms 34, Messiah is not mentioned. It don't say anything about a Messiah for you to think it's talking about a Messiah. We have to stop. We have to look at these things closely. All we have to do is do diligent research and read stuff in its context to see that it's not talking about what they say it is talking about. So, once again, we see that these so-called um, messianic prophecies that Jesus is supposed to have fulfilled were not talking about him. Nowhere is he mentioned by name or by title. So anyway, I'm going to end on that right there. This is your brother, Yael Ezra Ben Levy. Till the next video. Peace.